movie happens in the ancient periods during the Vikings' time. In the opening scene we see a spaceship falling off onto Earth. It falls down like meteor shower and falls straight into a lake. Then two humanoid-like figures with advanced suits comes out of the spaceship. One of them takes off his mask and lies down. His name is Ken. Next morning when he wakes up he sees his crewmates being dead and claw marks are buried deep into his chest. He looks into the lake and sees an advanced computer device that survived the fall. He goes to get it after getting the device he finds his location. Then with the help of it he downloads the information of Earth. It inserts data about all the customs of Earth and the languages they speak. Then he takes out his weapon and did a practice shot later. He gives a proper burial to his crewmates and sets off his travel. He then goes through a forest and reaches a village where he sees a whale corpse. He sees the village as all destroyed and everything there has become a mess. He starts to run after hearing someone approaching on a horse. He goes into the forest and some comes and strikes him down Keenan falls unconscious and his gun falls into a river. Later Keenan was brought back to the Viking village by a man named Wolf in the main hall. The King Rothgar and his daughter Freya are having a sword debate. Rothgar insists Freya to marry Wolfric and Freya saying that Wolfric is a hypocrite for the throne and the battle concludes after Freya got hit on the shoulder later Wolfer comes to Rothgar and informs him that Gunnar's village is destroyed and they don't know who did it and says Gunnar is not their cause he is on trading with another king. Him Rothfer is a little bit scared on hearing this. He says Gunnar will think it's us. Wolrich tells that they found a man in the woods and don't know which clan he belongs to. Later, Wolrich takes Keenan to the barns and starts to investigate him. He tells his name is Ken to which Wolfer thinks is funny and he says he is from an island from north. When Wolfer asks why he was there Keenan tells he was hunting the dragon but Wolfer doesn't believe him. Keenan tries to fight them but gets beaten up in the end. After that Wolfer gets to Freya and tells to treat Khan to which Freya refuses. But Wolfer goes saying if he dies it's on your head later Freya gets to kin and she treats him after treating Freya asks him if he really attacked Gunnar's village to which Khan says he didn't. When she looks behind Keenan has already got free. He slaps Freya and knocks her out. He also knocks out the guard and flees by taking his axe after it. Got dark something comes and starts to attack the soldiers. A soldier blows the horn and alerts all of them. Then we see some tentacles like things are attacking the soldiers and killing one by one. Khan sees some red light and he moves to that direction searching for it. The monster attacks one of the soldiers and takes his body. He then sees this and calls the monster by a name Morween. He tries to follow it but the soldiers caught him and pins him down. They chains him to the well next day a kid named Eric gets to Khan and he gives some bread to Khan but the soldiers kicks it off back at the main hall. Everyone is thinking who it might be and a priest says it might be. Lucifer Rothger says that worship Odin and he doesn't believe in that Lucifer thing. Bomer also gives some suggestions but they are not getting to any conclusion. Then Ken was brought to them and he starts to tell that it was a dragon and they call it Moovin and he tells it emits light to hunt its prey and says that he is the one that brought it here. He says it got into his ship and killed his men and then crashed his ship. He then then asks them to take him to hunt it so he can help. The king agrees to Khan's proposal. They ties Khan's hands and gives him a horse. Then Frey comes from behind and hits him later. They go through the forest searching for the Morwen on their way. They see some trails left by a bear and they decide to split up. He then tells they should stay together, but the king orders them to pair up. Bor goes with Rothgar and Wolfert goes with Keenan. Two other soldiers get to a cave and they get attacked by something. The remaining ones hears this and goes to the cave. After getting into the cave, the king got attacked by the bear. Khan and the others manages to kill the bear and drags its body out. The king free. Ken gives him his freedom back for saving him. Later that night, a party is being held in the main hall and everyone is praising Woolrich for killing the bear. And then Ken gets in and everyone greets him. While having feast, Rothgar catches Eric sneaking in. Eric doesn't talk much. Rothgar then says he wants to see the blade that killed the bear. He then asks his name and trades the blade for his name. Eric tells his name and goes running by taking the sword. Then a man stands up and shouts shields and everyone starts to say the same thing. All the men stands around the tables holding the shield to their shoulders. Woolrich stands up and calls Keenan for a competition and he gets onto the shield. He then gets onto the shield and they start running around. Freya gets impressed by 
Ken and Rothgar asks her to bet on him to which Freya says no one beats Wolfer at shields. Wolfert performs some stunts and challenges Kenan to do the same. Kenan also do the same. But in the end his shield breaks and he falls down after the party is done. Kenan is out thinking something. Then Freya comes to him and thank him for saving father and Ken apologizes for hitting her earlier while they were talking. Some people starts to attack that soldier. It is Gunnar and his men. They manage to break into the village Rothgar and his men rushes out and a battle breaks out between them. Rothgar fights with Gunnar but gets beaten up by him when Gunnar is about to kill Rothgar. Keenan strikes him and saves Rothgar. Gunnar is taken away by his men saying that he is lost. Then Gunnar gets into the forest and plotting something to attack Rothgar in his village while they are making a plan. They hear some scream they are being attacked by the Morrowin. Gunnar and his men fights with it but it is no use. So they ran away from it Woolrich thinks it is Gunnar's plan plan and tries to shoot him with arrows. He then stops them and opens the gate letting Gunner and his men come in. Then they all see the more. Ween killing Gunner's men and they realize they are facing something dangerous than a bear. Next morning they all talk and Gunner tells them what they saw and says they can't even cut it with swords. It's too strong Wolf tells they should hunt it down. Ken says hunting it doesn't work and says they should trap it when Woolrich rejects his judgment. They both get into a fight. Then the king says even if Ken is an outlander they should follow his idea. Cause he knows about it. And Rothgar asks Ken how to defeat it. Ken and the other star to make a game trap to kill it. They dig a gin hole deep enough to fit the Morween and Khan tells them to install two rows of post holes on both sides and then he puts shield on top of them to able to walk and they pour all the whale oil they had into the pit and they cage the pit down and finally they prepare a trap to kill the move -in. Later that night Freya brings some dinner to Khan while they are eating. Freya says that she saw him talking to her father earlier and asks what did he say Kenan tells? He asked him to stay. Freya asks him if he is going to Ken then to tells his story. In a Viking version Khan races are colonizers. When they find a planet with life on it they will wipe out its entire population to occupy the planet. One such planet belongs to the Moans. They killed the entire Moans race by nuking their planet and hunting down the remaining ones after every last Moan is wiped out they set to live on the planet by building colonies. And one day Khan went on to a mission, but by the time when he gets back their homes were destroyed by a mole that survived the hunt. He says that he feels bad for Hunt the Moans and even worse for not being able to save his family. Freya tries to console him by saying he is just following his king's orders and it is not his fault saying it is just fate. Then Freya gives Khan a sword and she tells that is the king's sword which is passed down by the ancestors and her father gave it to her to pass it down to a man who was worthy enough to wield it later they all prepare to kill the more when the king blesses Wolfric and Ken. Before going the women and children went into the main hall and are hiding there. One of the men hears something from the well by the time Bormio looks at him he sees nothing wolf. Rick and Keenan walk out of the walls with a torch. They both stop near the bridge and Ken throws that torch over the bridge and the Morween is in front of them it puts down the fire and starts to walk towards them. Then the priest comes to it and tries to perform a seance on it, but he gets killed by the move and Wolf Rick and Ken starts to run into the village. They lure it into the cage and con gets out of it and pulls out Wolf who falls in the oil after they both are out the soldiers light up the pit causing a big kaboom. They think it is dead, but back at the main hall Eric sees another small Morween and everyone starting running out the king sees this and goes to the hall. Meanwhile the Morween they trapped emerges out of the flames and starts to down and kill every man it can and it runs out of the village by breaking the wall and killing Gunner back at the hall. The king tries to fight with the other Moven but gets killed by it. In an instant Eric gets to Khan and informs him there is another one. When he gets there the king is already dead next morning everyone is leaving the village but Eric tells Khan he doesn't want to go to which Khan promises that everyone will come back soon. When they kill the Morween later he talks to Wolfric and gives him the king's amulet and tells him to let's kill that thing together. Then takes them to the well and shows them the water filled with blood and says they have to go into the well to reach it. And Ken goes to get a harder metal to kill the Morween. He goes to the lake with Wolfric and Freya and he dives into the river. He takes a metal piece out of the ship and sends it to the surface. By the time he gets to talk the boat is destroyed and Freya is gone. They get back to the village with metal BME makes a neat looking king sword with the metal they got. Later Kenan gets to the bottom of the well and it leads him to a cave and everyone else gets there too. 
Freya wakes up in a place full of corpses when the move-in is about to kill Freya it senses the others and goes to them leaving her, it starts to kill the men one by one and they got divided wolf. Rick and Keenan gets to it when it is killing one of the men. Keenan gets to it and cuts off its eyes. Bor tries to stop it but killed by it. Keenan shouts out loud on seeing his friend's death. Freya hears Ken's voice and calls for him wolf. Rick and Keenan gets to Freya. Meanwhile the blind move and approaches her and Keenan gives the sword through a gap and Freya slices off the head of the Moven. They get to Freya, and they see the bigger Moven approaching them and runs out but they reach the dead end. Wolfert fights with it. When Ken is helping Freya to escape he fights his best with it but Wolfert gets killed by it. Keenan gets angry seeing this and he goes into the cave he fights with it and tries to kill it and he manages to cut a tentacle of it. The beast escapes and just when it is about to attack Ken from behind Freya comes there and stabs the more we giving Keenan a chance to attack it. However the beast manages to drag Keenan to the cliff. Freya is trying to pull Kyan up but the beast is hanging by holding his hand. Keenan takes his sword and cuts off the Moen's hand making it falls off the top to death before dying. Wolfert gives the king's amulet to Keenan later. They get to the top of the mountain and sees their people in the boats. They calls for the people who are leaving before leaving. Keenan says he has something else to do and he kisses her before going. He gets back to the lake and standing in front of the computer and sees a ship approaching him but he takes out his sword and destroys the computer and Freya watches this from behind the bushes. He gets back to Freya and he became the king of the Vikings and Freya became his wife and he adopted Eric as 